Welcome back guys in the second episode of top 10 interview questions in react and we have Praveen once again uh, yes. among us and he is going to go ahead and share his knowledge on those uh, answers. Okay. So the next question is what are the limitations of using react and how those limitations are good for react? So as we know react is only a library. Mm -hmm. it's not a framework mm -hmm. so it's not bundled with uh, router state management maybe a lot of sort of things mm -hmm. it's just the kind of you are writing uh, logical html mm -hmm. uh, that's all mm -hmm. you don't need to write a uh, script.js for uh, other things so mm -hmm. And uh, you, uh, it's kind of uh, you have to manage your own components for all because React is built on, on single page applications, mm -hmm. so that's it. But uh, these are good for React because uh, a big on because React is a library, so you can build your own modules. Like if I need to implement a router, then I can build mm -hmm. on the top of React. So that is you. That is good because that helps your application not to be bothered with the lot of packages that you don't know you that you are not going to be even use suppose i am going only going to make a one page application i i don't want a router mm -hmm. so i am not going to install that uh, react router module or whatever i a tool that is going to help for me mm -hmm. uh, suppose if uh, there is a single page application i don't want i am not going to care about my state management tools mm -hmm. so that is good so that also increases an opportunity to build some sort of tools on uh, react okay yeah okay. great and uh, the next question is why there is a need for different package as react on so we know that when we install react we just re uh, install react as an npm package but why do we install react on separately why does it get, get shipped along with react so what if so why is that because uh, React on, not only runs on this thing, client. Mm -hmm. React, total, uh, today React is also run on your native apps, like as React Native, React also run on server, React, mm -hmm. uh, or uh, like uh, React or runs on client. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so that's why they differentiate between two packages because uh, if you are going to use React Native, then there's no React DOM. Okay. Okay. Then they they React Native is also going is going to give you a, a for a peg method for rendering uh, the main component. That's Absolutely. the thing. So I think what Pramin used to say is that uh, React is not only used for uh, you know web applications; it is also used for mobile app applications like React Native. And in Native, you know that there is no DOM available <laughs> over there, so you don't need to unnecessarily ship the react dom package in react native when you don't need it so this is why they have kept react dom package separately i think it's a it's a very valid question that you know is asked generally in the interview okay uh, the next step is why do we use a react router what is the need for that so router? can't we have that you know shipped with the package uh, so what happens like when you are creating your application react application mm -hmm. so you you are not going to visualize uh, all the views in a page mm -hmm. you want to be something like there's going to be a login view there's going to be a sign up view maybe there's going to be your dashboard view maybe mm -hmm. there's home view mm -hmm. so these are kind of routes so you want uh, you want uh, your component specifically render on a particular route mm -hmm. so that's why they've got a package of a react router that helps us to render your component mm -hmm. with that specific route okay yeah okay great awesome okay Praveen. so have you heard about hooks so what are actually hooks so basically hooks are methods mm -hmm. so they define in that kind of sense only those methods are run into only a function so mm -hmm. previously you are making a stateless component where mm -hmm. state is nothing you even can't touch if state mm -hmm. so but with the help of hooks you can use those method in your stateless component and behave that stateless component as a if as a state wala, state component mm -hmm. like class component mm -hmm. so suppose so if you are going to use a state in a stateless component then you have to use a state, use a state hook mm -hmm. but uh, if you are going to use a, like kind of 
life hack uh, cycles method then they were uv factor hook mm-hmm. so they just made a simple set of functions mm-hmm. methods actually actually mm-hmm. so you can use that method and behave your stateless component as a state component the yeah, hmm, thing so guys uh, as you can say that uh, pravin explained was so hooks are basically functions that allow us to hook into features of react now earlier if we had to use state we had to use uh, we were dependent on class actually we had to use class to be able to use state but now because hooks are functions that allow us to use state inside of a function it made our job a lot easier and when we using class if you remember we had different life cycle methods like a component did mount component did update component will update and they were we had to scatter our logic everywhere uh and it was very difficult to go ahead and break your component into multiple chunks so hooks yeah. will make that easy for us why because functional components are small and instead of using three different methods like component will mount component will update you can do all of that in just one method which is use fact okay and new state is used to set your state Uh, so it actually makes your lot, uh, job a lot easier, isn't it? Very yeah. Enough. Hooks are just method. Those method are only used in a function. That's all. Great. Awesome. So thank you. thank you so much, Pravin, for sharing your knowledge with us. And yeah. uh, if you guys have any requests or, or any queries regarding uh, React, uh, or if you have an interview that is scheduled, and if you have any questions and you like us to answer, please feel to feel free to uh, you know. So yeah, ping ping us both of us. Okay, uh, Twitter, you have Pravin dash me. Uh, uh, handle uh, for Pravin, so uh, you can you can catch me on that. And yeah, we'll we'll put in the description be absolutely uh, so video description. Absolutely, you can ask me more questions, mm. questions, and you can catch me on Indan Xayer, which is my Twitter handle, or you can also subscribe to my channel to see more content. And yeah. if there are any specific content that you guys like us to make, uh, then please you can request that in the comment section as well. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. thank you so much, guys. Yeah. Thank you.